And say the same thing. Well, cocaine's illegal in this country. Alcohol is illegal. Well, I know, but you if can't it compare cocaine without alcohol. So, Steve, if it was illegal, would you stop drinking? It's not illegal. No, if it was. It's not illegal. And okay, he won't answer that question. He won't answer that question. Silly, silly question. So are it's this a relevant question because that will never be the case. Here. How do you know it's never? Never say never. I, I would put all my money on it. I would put every. How much have you got? Not worth it. I knew it. <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. Alcohol. Okay. So anyway, let's let's get back to. So so basically. Be banned across Europe. It was banned in the, no. in the United States at one point. Yes. Well, not. No. no. It was. No. Look in it some up. Some states, not across America. It was. You, <laughs> you bumped. You absolute yeah. I think you had a muppet anyway, if you think alcohol is good for you. It'll be banned across Europe. Okay. Or in any single European is, uh, is, is, Do you agree with the scientists that any amount of alcohol is bad for you? No scientists. Like scientists yeah. are saying that. That's rubbish as well. Oh, so you don't believe the scientists entire, either? The entire world of science is saying there is. <laughs> That alcohol is so bad. this, That's this, stuff. you're going to show me one science. Yeah, you're not showing me the entire yeah, world. It's of not science. one science. This is a study. You haven't even looked at a the facts. Study by who? He's already rubbished it. Because I know when you come out with your phone and say, and here you go, that you've already got up on your phone. Alcohol. We're drinking it. We're fine. So if you drink, if you choose not to drink it. That's fine. So I, anyway, allow people so, that want so, to drink. So we, fine. so we, we got. Never change the law in this country. You're not a scientist, you're right? Never, you're never. Well, I was actually trained and qualified as a scientist. I don't. Have you have you done any studies on alcohol? You're randomly bringing up one article that says it's alcohol random, is bad. It's random, I can show you many. How many do you want? Well, how many do you want to show that it's not bad? Okay, show and me where it's not bad. I'll tell you what, show me an article where it says not bad. This, this couple is probably an example of alcohol not being bad. Steve, you're a very bad example. Well, but do, do Why would you know, I take you as an I, example? I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But you said you're an example. You can't win the argument. No, the you argument, the you argument. know what is an academic argument? When you have a consensus of a scientist, when you have consensus... You're hiring your uh, your your voice is going up, but I think like like you said I know I've not on, I'm a pocket eh, but I know that there have been studies that they say if you drink two glasses of red wine that it's good for your heart. There are also studies about that. I heard that as well. Do you so, know Do you know what they don't tell you? How bad it is for your liver? But 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 that's, that your liver is made. It's a, it's an organ just made for that. If you consume it in a in a not in a, in a, too much. To, it's a fabric that, that, that you know, my friend, because you both have been drinking all your life, maybe, so you have convinced yourself that without this, I cannot live. No? No. Can you live without I, alcohol? I, I, do you think I drink every day alcohol? Do you think? I didn't say you drink every day. No, I don't. Drink all I'm every saying, day. all I'm saying is that we have, we, we we have this consensus from the scientists now who claim... But, but what is your point? But we are I, not bad because we are drinking alcohol. By the way, Steve, it's from the sorry, Lancet. Sorry, don't be so fucking ignorant. We're talking. From the Lancet. <laughs> <laughs> you have just been debunked. Oh, you're such, you're such a child. You're question, such a child. Not no. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh, he doesn't like that one. He doesn't like that one. This is Very from well, the... By the way, this is... Stop performing for the this cameras. Is, this is from the Stop Lancet. Stop performing for the cameras. So it's not some cameras. random study. It's from the Lancet. The Lancet... Do you, Have you even read it? this question about nutmeg. No, I don't talk to numbers like you. <laughs> okay. So so what I, what I wanted to show these guys here who drink alcohol and who have convinced themselves that alcohol is okay to consume. A study from the Lancet, the Lancet is something which you don't just mess around that people think that it's just some random magazine article. No, it is something which is academic. It is something which people take seriously and it has proven from a study of a large amount of people that alcohol in any amount is something which is wrong. If they don't want to believe that that's fine because they will have this cognitive dissonance that they have convinced themselves that this is something okay doesn't matter how much you drink or how much you actually consume it or even if it's in moderation it's good for you but here the study is telling you that no no alcohol is safe to drink global study confirms look up that title on the bbc article and you'll find that this is something you know what the, the point i wanted to make with that person i believe he was agnostic was agnostic or atheist yeah, so anyway, he was saying that we all can live happily, we can all respect each other, and then we can all decide to say, uh, be good. But then I asked him specifically, what is the definition of good? How can you say something is good? Because one person's good can be another person's evil or bad. And he said, no, it's not like that. Then I gave him the example of alcohol. That if I asked you, is alcohol bad for you? Say, no, it's not. Drinking in moderation is good. Like he said, some doctors say, 
alcohol, uh, sorry, drinking uh, wine, a, a small quantity of wine, red wine is good for your heart. But then they don't tell you what it does to your liver and the other organs which, imp which get impacted as well. We have studies in the Lancet which actually prove to us that what Islam has been saying all along, according to the Quran, that it's bad for you, it is forbidden for that reason. It's become a circus. Now, speak as corner circus. <laughs> so anyway, we don't want to indulge in circus. We take things seriously, especially when it comes to matters of your life, of your death, of your salvation. And this is what we say that we have the Quran, we use that as a guide, and we, we pray that Allah gives guidance to as many people as possible, to our friends, to our families, to everyone. But if people have closed their minds, have closed their hearts, then Allah will put a lock on their hearts. Allah will send them astray because after repeated warnings, yes, like this guy Steve who has been coming here for many years, after repeated warnings, they keep discarding the message, this, then Allah will not give them hidayah because they have now deliberately and by choice voluntarily discarded that advice to them. They have rejected the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says to them in the Quran, give them the good news of a painful punishment. You know, this is good news for them that they will have a painful punishment. But because they don't even believe in the Akhirah, they believe that this is the only life that they will have, uh, they will encounter. Then what happens is that they have convinced themselves and the shaitan has convinced them that there is no life after that. But we know as believers, as people who have submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the only God worthy of worship, we know that after we die, that is when the real life begins in the sense that that life is eternal and this life which we left behind is something which is temporary. So Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us the Hidayah and we have to make sure that we pass on this message of the Quran and of Sunnah and of Islam to other people because there are a lot of people out there who are disbelievers, a lot of people who have gone straight, a lot of people who have gone away from the true path. So it is our duty as Muslims Yes, to acquire knowledge, to gain knowledge and then to pass on this knowledge to other people. Yes, because you are the ones who are going to be the legacy of the prophets, of the messengers, whose duty it was to convey the message. Remember, it's not up to the prophet or a messenger or even up to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to give hidayah to someone. Hidayah is always going to be from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Our duty and the duty of the messengers before us whose uh, footpath we follow, inshallah, is to convey the message. You will be held accountable on the Day of Judgment if you do not convey the message, even though you had the knowledge. So please, we are not saying you become scholars. I'm not a scholar. I'm not someone who is an alim, yes? So the Prophet ﷺ told us, convey even an ayah, even one verse from the Quran. And I'm sure everyone can do that. So start small and gradually increase your knowledge. Because if you're going to just say, oh, I'm not a scholar, I don't know much about the Quran and Sunnah, then you have to start somewhere. Start with one ayah, one verse, and convey it to other people. Because this is what the Muslims have done today. They have left this, this uh, communal obligation in a way. Yes? And I think in the West, it's become more of an obligation to, according to the interpretation of some scholars. That you have to give da'wah in this age, in this, um, uh, in this times. Yes? Oh, there's a lot of fitna out there. So we have to, as Muslims, try our best to give da'wah to as many people as possible and to whomever we can. You know, there's no excuse for, for even the sisters not to give da'wah. Today we have social media. There's a lot of opportunities for, for da'wah, yes? So we have a channel called Da'wah Wise, yes? All you have to do is subscribe to it and inshallah help us uh, by commenting, by forwarding our videos to other people and the same with the other channels here, alhamdulillah. So with Dawah Wise, the special thing is you will see myself and Mansoor, our videos on, on, on Dawah Wise channel, which are exclusive, which you won't find on other channels. Yes, so some of our videos we find on those channels, but if you want new exclusive videos, please subscribe to Dawah Wise, hit the notification button, hit the like, do comment because it helps to grow the channel and also helps to spread the message of Dawah to everyone. So inshallah, this is, um, the last 10 days of Ramadan that we are in. 
please try to engage in ibadah as much as possible. Try to give um, uh, more importance to your salah in particular. Yes, the Quran, this is the month of the Quran. In this month, the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Yes, and also try to make dua. Dua is a weapon of the believer. Yes, do not underestimate the power of dua. This is the only thing that can even change your taqdeer. It can change your dec uh, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, and this is from the authentic hadiths. So please try to make uh, as much dua as possible in the 10 nights. The, the dua for Laylatul Qadr is, uh, um, what is the dua? I keep forgetting now. Okay. Indaka um, afuwan tuhibbul affa fa'afu anni. And this is a dua which you should repeat that in the kafuun that Allah is forgiven. Tuhibbul afu, He loves to forgive. Fa'afu anni means forgive me. Forgive us. Yes? This is a dua, it's a very small dua. Please remember it. Please try to memorize it. Allahumma inna kafuun tuhibbul affa fa'afu anni. Only three, what he says, uh, sentences. Try to memorize it. It's going to be the best dua. What, is, what does afu mean? It doesn't mean just forgive. It has even a deeper meaning to that. So forgive means Allah still records it for you. Yes, He can forgive you, but whatever sin you have committed, Allah still records that for you. You know, the angels, they record it. So this is still in, in your records. So on the day of judgment, Allah will show you this. And He might say that this has been forgiven to you. Yes, it's still been recorded. What does Afu mean? Means it is not even remembered anymore. It is not recorded, it is wiped away completely from all record, from all memory, yes? To the extent that it is now such that your forgiveness is absolute. Yes, where, where there's no uh, record of it as well. So try please to make dua. And the most important thing you can do uh, from after doing your salah, your tilawah, your reading uh, the Quran, uh, giving, um, sorry, uh, reciting as many duas as possible. The other most important thing is charity. Yes, so I'm not talking about just your obligation, obligatory zakat, which many people do in Ramadan, alhamdulillah, because of the added rewards, but your voluntary charity, giving sadqah, giving lillah, you know, in the, in, in the path of Allah, there are a lot of people who require this, um, this help. So the, uh, this is where you can help the dawah as well. So we have a Patreon uh, on dawahwise, it's on our website, dawahwise.com. Please do um, give as much as you can or whatever Allah has uh, give you the tawfiq of. And please try yourself as well to give to other organizations, to other charities. There are a lot of charities out there who require, a lot of people require um, money in these hard times. Uh, places like Afghanistan, places like uh, even India, places like um, Palestine, uh, Iraq, Afghan, um, I've said Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen, all these places, alhamdulillah, where there is poverty, there is uh, to such an extent, people don't even have a proper meal during their iftar time. So please try your best to donate generously because in this month, your donation, whatever good deeds you do, it will be multiplied not only 700 times, but it is up to Allah to increase as much as, as He can. Because Allah says, the reward for, for a fasting person is up to me. Yes, it is something that Allah has reserved for, uh, for, by His mercy on the, for us on the Day of Judgment. Yes? And that is where the currency, your rewards will be your currency on the Day of Judgment. So please try your best to do as much righteous deeds as possible. May Allah accept from all of us. Yes? And may Allah make it easy for us to do our amal in these last 10 days. Yes? As the Hadith says that uh, during a race, the horse exerts its uh, it exerts itself to the to the limit when it's coming to the finishing line. So we are coming to the finishing, the end of Ramadan. Yes, and this time what we lost, we'll never get it back. So try your best to exert yourself in ibadah, in uh, in qiyam al layl, in in tarawih, in um, in all the all the prayers and all the tilawah. Try your best to do as much as possible. And inshallah, may Allah accept from us taqabbalah. And uh, may Allah make it easy for us. Uh, please remember us in your duas. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.